I must add to this the reason why the marriage is dissolved. It is reciprocal because the enemy treated the Muslim women who were married as uh, if they were free for them to be had. They considered the marriage dissolved. So reciprocally, to prevent the enemy from doing, continuing to do this justice, Islam had to react in the same measures. This is the main reason why the marriage was dissolved, not because it was just the practice of the world. I believe that keeping this in view, if during a modern war the enemy does not treat Muslim women as uh, they were treated earlier at that, at, in that, at that time, it's impossible for Muslims to treat their women like this. Because if they do, reciprocally, reciprocally, they would mistreat the Muslim women as well. So they will be doing absolute injustice to their own ladies if they do this in a modern warfare. So that is why I believe it was reciprocal. It was essential to make the enemy understand the folly of their practice. If they do not do this, Muslims have no right to do the same. Is it possible for the same woman then to marry her husband again after the war is finished? To? Is it possible for the woman who was in prison and she's freed? Is it possible for after her After this answer, I'll turn to this question. Yes. <laughs> after the war is finished and um, the, the wife wants to go back to her original husband, can she go <laughs> back to her original husband? <laughs> it's a very interesting question and laughable because even in the modern societies once a verdict is issued about the dissolution of a marriage and the woman marries another person it is not possible for her to return to the old husband unless she divorces the new husband so this is a very complicated affair you have raised if it happens today during a war, but this is not possible during a war, but if you, if in olden days a non-Muslim woman was uh, captured, her marriage was dissolved, she married another person which was a Muslim and had children from him, do you really believe that he would like to return to his old husband? No, but my thought was that maybe the woman was forced to have to marry another no, person. Then. It's not a question of force. It is a question of a tradition and uh, a practice which was worldwide. But forget about that. A woman whose marriage is dissolved. Every prisoner is forced because he is not made a prison out of option. So the question of force is related to war, not to the personal rights of somebody being trampled. So this force issue is a separate issue. But the major part, the crux of the matter is, she is married and she bears children. After that, can you visualize her to dissolve this, that marriage and return to that husband? He may not, uh, he may have married somebody else. <laughs> now, I don't think there is enough time left for any other question. Eh? So, let's call it a day, please. Assalamu alaikum.